Okay, so welcome to Math Storia and let's solve this problem. So find the integral of cosine to the power 4x dx. So take note that for the integral of sine and cosine, if the exponent is even number, then we're going to use this identity. So for sine squared a, that's 1 minus cosine 2a over 2. And for cosine squared a, that's 1, plus cosine 2a over 2. So for this given, since the identity is cosine squared, so we need to rewrite this one first to cosine squared. So this becomes the integral of cosine squared x, then to the power 2. Because 2 times 2, that's 4. Then, using this identity for cosine squared, so we have the integral of 1 plus cosine 2, then a, a is x, so we have cosine 2x, then over 2, then to the power 2, then the dx. Then to simplify, so we need to distribute this exponent first to both sides so this becomes 1 plus cosine 2x to the power 2 then over 2 to the power 2 then the dx then to simplify so we need to expand this 1 plus cosine 2x to the power 2 and we're going to use this method the SMS so this S stands for the square of the first term. So the square of 1, that's 1. Then M, that's multiplication. So we have 2 times cosine 2x times 1. That's positive 2 cosine 2x. And this last S, the square of the last term. So the square of cosine 2x, that's positive cosine squared 2x then over 2 to the power 2 that's 4 then the dx then simplify so we can put this denominator 4 outside so this becomes 1 over 4 then the integral of 1 plus 2 cosine 2x plus cosine squared 2x, then the dx. Then this time, we can integrate every terms. So we have 1 over 4, then the integral of 1 dx or the integral of dx plus, so put this constant outside, then the integral of cosine 2x dx then plus the integral of cosine squared 2x dx then to find the integral so we have 1 over 4 since the integral of dx this one is x plus 2 times the integral of cosine, so since the integral of cosine is positive sine, so this one is sine 2x over the derivative of 2x, that's 2. Then plus, so for the integral of cosine squared, so using this identity, so we have the integral, so cosine squared, that's 1 plus cosine 2a, so we have 1 plus cosine 2a and a is 2x so we have cosine 2 times 2x then over 2 times dx then simplify so we have 1 over 4 times x plus so we can cancel this 2 so this becomes sine 2x then plus we need to put this denominator to outside, so this becomes 1 half, then the integral 
of 1 plus cosine this 2 times 2x, that's 4x. Then simplify, so we have 1 over 4, then x plus sine 2x, then plus 1 half times integrate every terms, so we have the integral of 1 dx or the integral of dx plus the integral of cosine 4x dx, so the integral of cosine 4x dx. Then simplify, so we have 1 over 4 times x plus sine 2x plus 1 half then times the integral of dx, that's x, plus the integral of cosine, that's positive sine. So this one is sine 4x over the derivative of 4x, that's 4. Then simplify, so we have 1 over 4, then x plus sine 2x plus, so distribute this 1 half, so that's 1 half x plus distribute this 1 half, so 2 times 4, that's 1 over 8, then sine 4x. Then this time, we need to distribute this 1 fourth to every terms. So we have 1 fourth x, then plus 1 fourth sine 2x, then plus, so we have 4 times 2, that's 1 over 8. So 1 over 8x plus to this term, so 4 times 8, that's 32. So 1 over 32, sine 4x, then plus c. Then for this case, since we have like terms, that's 1 fourth x plus 1 eight x. So to simplify, so we have 1 fourth plus 1 eight. So we're going to use cross multiplication. So 1 times 8, that's 8, plus 4 times 1, that's 4, then over, 4 times 8, that's 32, so this one is 12 over 32, but since we can reduce 12 over 32 divisible by 4, so this 12 divided by 4, that's 3, over 32 divided by 4, that's 8, so therefore this 1 fourth x plus 1 eight x, that's 3 over 8x. So we have 3 over 8x plus 1 over 4 sine 2x plus 1 over 32 sine 4x plus c. So this is now the final answer.